What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you guys the first coverage of the new Need for Speed Rivals car pack. Now this is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, and which is probably, in my opinion, by far the nicest car in the pack, or at least the coolest car in the pack to me. Um, this is the one I was most excited for, and seeing as this is the Need for Speed movie pack, it basically, well, we saw confirmed that this was going to be in the movie, which is absolutely insane, and yes, I am going to see it. So, I, in fact, a couple of you guys in the comment section of some of my other videos asked if I was going to see it. Yes, I absolutely am, but, um, first we're going to take a look at the performance of this car. You can upgrade the Pursuit Tech all the way, uh, right off the bat. There's nothing, um, nothing that you need to do or anything. This Pursuit Tech is fully upgradable, and I really like the fact that, that they let you just have all the cars when you buy the DLC. Like, when you pay real money for the DLC, they're like, okay, there you go. You don't have to pay for the cars in-game, which I think is actually a good thing. Like, if you paid real money for the DLC, you shouldn't have to pay again with in-game money to buy the cars again. And I really like how Need for Speed kind of gets that, and they just allow you to have the cars after paying real money for the DLC. Now, we're going to just go ahead and head-to-head -head this Enzo real quick and see how this thing doesn't erase, because this is my very first time actually driving this thing, so I have no idea how it drives, and apparently we're going to get into a chase right off the bat, too. Come on! Ow! Jeez, get off me, M6! I had to catch this Enzo. I had a feeling that Enzo was, like, working with the cops or something, or at least they were working with him, because he's gone. Pretty much total cheating. Come on, come on! Ooh, that was a little close to the outside. No, never mind, it was like... Just about to escape, and then immediately, boom, pursuit resumed. Yeah, never mind. They're just like, yeah, you know what? No, you can't get away just yet. Whoa, did he mess up or something? I don't know. It looked like he did. Maybe he just went off into the dirt for a bit. I don't know. It sounds amazing, though, especially in tunnels. This thing is possibly the best-sounding car in the game. If not the, if not the absolute best-sounding car in the game. I absolutely love the way it sounds. It sounds brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, if you guys haven't, um, haven't played with this car yet, just the first time you get your hands on it, just stop and just hold the e-brake and just rev it because the engine sound is incredible. Well, I should say exhaust slash engine sound, but they're both absolutely incredible. We're going to go ahead and get on the turbos real quick. They glitched. Okay, never mind. I guess we won't get on the turbos. I hate when that happens. A little risky maneuver. Oh, come on. I was trying to avoid the traffic and ended up going straight into a barrier. All because I wanted to get through this repair shop. Really? Let's see if they'll let me use that turbo again. Or if they'll just, like, cut it off. Come on. Yes, they let me use it. Sweet. Oh, God. That was close. And, yeah, that was too close. Mm-mm, 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 M6. No way. I mean, I know by now that we've lost this head-to-head, -head, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish it, and then we'll see what else we can do afterwards. Thinking I want to do a hot pursuit, because that's a really good way to test. It's also it's a really good way to see how, not only how a car behaves in a race, but also how it behaves um, while being chased by cops, and to see how strong it is as well, so definitely going to look for a hot pursuit to do. Another That's another Enzo, but a different color. This thing is quick, though. It's so quick. There's... Ow! Whoa, that was a weird glitch. Apparently, it's inside a rock. Apparently, when you crash the Sesto Elemento into a rock, it doesn't hit it. It goes inside it. Oh, actually, the, actually, no. I want to do a time trial. Yes, a time trial would be awesome. Turn around. Start, start. Yes, there we go do that little trick you can actually start ahead of the starting line which is I don't know it's not really cheating because the game actually lets you do it so if you if you can if you remember that little technique of slowly accelerating into it while uh, while pressing the left bumper to start it you can actually start a little bit further ahead than everybody else would which is kind of nice because you could set you it's, it starts to make it easier to shave off seconds from your uh, from your race time come on oh what Okay, apparently, I don't know what it is, but either this thing doesn't change direction very quickly, or I haven't been playing enough Rivals to be, uh, to be, like, up to speed with this car. I'm thinking it's probably the second option. Come on, 
Gator, Enzo. Okay, yep, yep, we got a cop on us. And avoid the Raptor. Well, not really. Not really. Get some speed on this. Come on. Oh, God. Car was getting just a little bit squirrely back there, and I was like, I do not want to lose this. No way. Change direction. All driving with someone. Someone going the other way, though, so we'll be all driving with them for long. They're probably in an event, too. This thing handles so well, though. I mean, just, just tap the brakes. Tap the brakes and let off the throttle and then get back on the throttle again. And you, you get these super smooth drifts. Super smooth. It feels super light. Well, I mean, it would feel super light, but it just feels amazingly good. And you could place it wherever you want it, too. Absolutely no trouble placing this thing in corners. None at all. Definitely one of my favorite cars as far as, um... Just as far as, like, overall, it's definitely one of my favorite cars in, in Need for Speed Rivals. The only thing is, because of the fact that Need for Speed Rivals feels uh, that it needs to make the cars look wet all the time, this uh, this car definitely looks, it looks almost extra wet just because of the fact that it's all carbon fiber, and the game renders it that way. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it always looks like it's just had, like, it always looks like it's just been washed and not dried because of the fact that this car... And you guys can see, it looks wet all the time. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if they're trying to make it seem like like that makes the graphics better or like trying to show off some kind of um, rendering tactic that they can only do on the Xbox One. Not rendering tactic, rendering um, technique that they can only do on the Xbox One. I don't know, but um, it looks a little bit odd. But then, it, then again, that's on a, a lot of other cars and rivals, so it's not um, specific to uh, the Sesto Elemento. So you have to just... That's one of those things where it's like, it's just kind of one of those, oh, crap. Yeah, that's not gone well. But that's one of those things that you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to be like, okay, the game has this little, just this little thing, and you're going to have to either, either live with it or not. I decided, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I can live with it just fine. Um, oh, no. Oh, man, we're so close to the finish. I don't think, no, we have to, no. Dang, we did not get gold. Oh, man, we got silver. Are you kidding me? Hate it when I don't get gold in those time trials. I don't really care that I'm in a pursuit because I'm going to go ahead and start. No, actually, no, I'm not going to start that race because they would take me out immediately. Apparently, they got confused because they all turned around back there. They all got totally confused. On. Okay, repair shop is very close, very close around the next, well, not around the next corner, but I know exactly where it is. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be repaired in just a bit. We'll be repaired in just a bit. We'll be fine. Oh, God. Off of the wall. Okay, I need to, uh, you know, just cut through the, cut through the side of the road a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Actually, there's another time trial back there that we could do. Since we didn't get gold on the last one, I absolutely must get gold on this one. Oh, man, started way ahead of the line. Way ahead of the line. Come on! There we go. Keep it sideways. Transition it. Keep it smooth. Boost out of it. Dang, it does run out of nitrous really, really fast, though. It just se it just seems like it does. Maybe that's because it's so fast, but I don't know. It just seems like it runs out of nitrous really, really fast. All right, come on. Try to stay in the oncoming just to get a little bit more nitrous out of that. Get a little bit recharged, or as recharged as I can get. Yeah, definitely cutting the inside as far as possible. Whoa! Okay, that was unexpected. Please tell me that counted. Please, okay, it counted. Whew, I was worried that I was going to be like off course and it wouldn't have counted that checkpoint. I hate it when it does that. I really, really do because it sucks when it does that. Then you have to go and redo the entire race. And I had to do that a couple of times 
when I was playing through the career originally, and I was like, dang it, I do not want to go through the ra like, I do not want to go back to the race. Ow. You know what, he's not going to catch up with me, so I'm going to use it on this P1. Take that! Dang, that's a lot of health, wow. Well, I guess... <laughs> Because I learned that if I'm ever if I'm ever racing against a P1 in a um, in a Cesar Elemento, I don't want to dis absolutely destroy him. Use the ESF because it it, I bet you that would take um, from full health. I'd probably take down maybe uh, I'd probably take like three hits. Um, two hits would bring him down really low. You maybe just like two hits of ESF and then one hit of a shockwave. He'd be done. He'd be absolutely done. Whoa! There we go. That was close call with the Aston. Nearly and across the line and through the repair shop. Just keep going. Wow, heat level eight. Dang, that's not bad. And right into a wall. Looking at my heat level. All units, all units. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna turn back around and go back through the repair shop again because I think I really need to. And escaped. And they're back on me again. The second I escaped, he turned on his lights and chased me again. See if we can get away again, like, as quickly as possible. I don't even see him on the map. Now, he's not behind me. What's up here? Oh, whoa, a Venino. A Venino and a Cesar Elemento together. That is awesome. That is absolutely legit. There should be some kind of jump in here somewhere in this farm. I don't know where it is, but i try and find it. There it is. Come on. Not that big of a jump anyway, but definitely a fun jump to do. Wait a second. You're telling me I've never put in a gold, uh, gold medal run on this hot pursuit? Oh, man. I have to. I have to do this. A GTR. Then F12 back there. Okay, yeah, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Yeah, just try and hit me. Yeah, yeah, take it, Venino. And thankfully, there's a well. There should be a um, a repair shop of, uh, later on this run because as long as they as long as they keep the run on the road that I think they're going to, we should be all right. What? Okay, that was off the road, and it was above the guardrail. That should not have popped my tires. Absolutely should not have popped my tires. No way. That is not cool. Dang, they got spikes all over the place. Yeah, just try and hit me, GTR. What? Okay. There you go, EA servers again. Lovely, lovely EA servers. Aren't they aren't they just amazing? I'll be back with you guys when we eventually reconnect to this game. All right, so we're back in the game and apparently it spawned us somewhere around where we were uh, with max health. So we don't need that repair shop anymore. Um, and we're still in the race. So that was really, really weird. Uh, the EA servers are not the nicest things. The EA servers are definitely not the nicest things out there. Oh God, I was, I was like, do I take the shortcut or do I not take the shortcut? And I was like, yeah, take the shortcut. But then at the, at the last second, I was like, but maybe they've set up a checkpoint that's not on the shortcut, which would screw up the entire race. So I was like, you know what? I'm not taking the shortcut. Yep, no spike strips for me. Those spike strips are really glitchy, actually. They either glitch into the ground or above the ground. They're weird. Come on. ESF out of the way 458 Goodbye Venino Just that F12 to pass Oop. Oh my god I am so surprised that I was actually able to, to save that Okay okay I was like I was like there's no way I'm gonna let myself uh, get taken out by a spike strip You think that's gonna work? Hmm? I don't think so No I blocked the EMP and went straight into a Ford Explorer. Yeah, that wasn't fun. One and a half miles to go before we hit uh, before we hit the finish line. 
And I really want to win this. I really, really, really want to win this. We turbo. This might not be the best time to use it. Oh, my God. No! Did I get taken out? No, I did not get taken out. I have a tiny bit of health left. That is crazy. Oh my god, so many spike strips. Jeez. Where's the finish? You're right up here? I mean, dang, I got third again. Dang. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! I'm just gonna head right into the hideout. And bank these points. No, I hit the hideout and lost all my speed points. That has got to be the biggest fail ever in Need for Speed Rivals. That's got to be the biggest fail above anything else I've ever done in Need for Speed Rivals. But if you guys enjoyed this look at the Sesto Elemento in the newest DLC pack for Need for Speed Rivals, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.